Blessings to you tribe. This is Ronnie Lee, the healing medium. If you don't mind, I'm just coming through to drop some gems of inspiration, motivation, and wisdom to feed your spirit and silence the ego for just a moment. Today, I want to talk about trading, trading energy, exchange of energy, and how it can help you create abundance. Everything is energy, right? This is something that we know. This is something that we have been learning. This is something we have been working with. And we're finding through this process our own energy and what we bring to the table. We're realizing that the people we have around us and figuring out what kind of energy they have and what they bring to the table. We're also making decisions if we want to continue to entertain certain energy within ourselves and with other people. So whenever there's energy within ourselves that we are tired of carrying around, we're tired of having, we work on getting rid of it. And it's not so much as a, you know what, I'm getting rid of that. I mean, you first do have to even acknowledge that you have this certain kind of energy and wanting to get rid of it means you have to face it head on. You've got to look at it. You have to observe it. You have to understand why you have it. And then you make a plan and get rid of it. And it's the same thing with the people that we have in our lives. Do I want your energy exchanging with mine? Because every interaction we have with people is an exchange of energy. You know, I've spoken openly about this before in regards to when people call me for readings. Um, some people call me and, and they have this... Um, habit of calling psychics. And so they'll call me back. Oh, okay. So the one psychic I talked to and then the others, I'm like, how many psychics did you speak to today? I mean, it, well, in one week, about four, that is an exchange of energy. And I noticed that those clients, I always have to let them know you need to clear your energy and then call me back. But I noticed with those clients, they have so much anxiety and their mind is everywhere. They're kind of lost and confused as to who they are, where they're going. Even the basic necessities of life just get lost in their mind. And it's because they're taking on too much energy. Again, everything is energy and everything is an exchange of energy. So who you're interacting with every day, um, who even who you're speaking with, you don't have to be face to face with someone. You can be over the phone with an individual. You are exchanging energy. This is why it's very important for us to be careful about who we interact with. And I know that a lot of times we interact with people because we give ourselves the excuse that we've known them for so long their family, they've been friends with us for so long, or you don't want to hurt their feelings. And I understand that, but there are ways that you can lessen your interaction with them so that it is not greatly affecting you. Because here's the thing about energy. As you continue to exchange energy with people, um, especially also with environments and different things that you're involved in, as you exchange energy with with that energy source, it becomes a part of you. The energy is very magnetic. So if you're constantly speaking to somebody that's having problems in the relationship, you're going to naturally start to attract problems in yours because energy is magnetic. You are exchanging energy back and forth with the people that you communicate with. If you're not grounding yourself, you're not protecting yourself spiritually, and you're not discon disconnecting yourself from other people's energy, you will manifest from that energy source. And so all the work that you're doing to raise your frequency, if you're not getting grounded and, and sure about who you are and being able to catch those subtle changes in your own energy, you are going to absorb so much of that other person. You're going to start manifesting things into your life based off of their energy. This is why sexual energy is very, very, very important to be mindful of. There is no casual sex because you are walking away with that person's energy and they are walking away with yours. This is why it's sometimes so, not sometimes, this is why it's so hard for some people to end a relationship that is unhealthy. And that is because there's a consistent base of exchanging physical energy with this individual so much that 
because it's consistent, you have become a part of them. So when it comes to breaking up that relationship that's unhealthy, you feel like you're losing a part of yourself. And for so many people, that seems so overwhelming and it causes them to stay stuck in that relationship. And again, manifesting from that empty place, continuously drawing into your life things, feelings that you just do not want. So if we're mindful about our energy exchange, let's look at a positive light, the positive side of it. Let's look at how you can actually create abundance by exchanging energy with other people, other, um, other sources of energy. If you are the type of person that wants more love in your life, let me, let me say this first before I even get into this. It's an exchange of energy, okay? Please don't show up empty-handed. Everything is energy. So barter your energy. If you're going to a source of energy to receive, make sure that you are giving. Because if not, you're just kind, you're being that vampire. You're being that person that's going to suck an energy source dry. And that it's not kind. It's not morally right. It's just bad. And you're going to push people away from you and you're going to ultimately ultimately affect what you manifest because the balance, there's a natural balance and flow of energy. And if you're just always taken in, you're disrupting the natural balance and flow. So now let me go to love. If love is something that you're looking to manifest, if it's something that you want more of, um, you want to be in a relationship or you just want loving people around you, then exchange energy with love. Find a source of love. It doesn't have to just be a person. It could be an animal. It could be, you know, art. It could be something that you're passionate about. It could be volunteering. Doing something out of love, giving love to someone else will open you up to receiving it. If you have issues with receiving love, then you want to address those. Because if you're not able to give and receive, again, you're throwing the, you're knocking things out of balance. So if you want health, you want to be in good health, exchange some energy with another person that is healthy or find a platform. There are so many things that you can find on social media that give you the tools to manifest health in your life. Everything is energy. So walk towards the very things that you want, spend more time there and watch how the energy starts to exchange. If you feel that you're lacking in spirituality, you want more connection, again, there are tools all around you. When you want something, it will appear. Spirit's always trying to help you get to the next level. For a lot of people, though, they get lazy and they don't open themselves up to receiving the tools that they need in order to make changes. Or they feel that they just want it to happen, but they don't want to put in any work to to get what they desire. Things don't happen that way. So if you want more, if you want to work on your spirituality, find those sources where you can exchange energy there. It goes the same for wisdom, business. You want to start your own business? Get inside of, get get to a class. There's so many free classes online. Um, Go to people that have started their business. Start following them on social media. Get some of that good business entrepreneurial vibe, all that energy. As you start to absorb that, you'll start to see your frequency rising. You'll start to see your interest rising and being connected to the things that you want to manifest. But you have to get outside of your bubble. Take a step towards the platforms, use the tools and speak your truth, speak your desire, speak what you want and be open to follow the path of where it takes you. You can create abundance by exchanging energy with the right sources. So that's it. Farewell for now. Stay blessed, stay encouraged and spread your light everywhere you go. Don't forget to check out my book, The Awakening, A Guide for Those That Carry the Light on Amazon. The link will be in the description. Talk to you guys later. Ciao.